Hello YouTube, my name is Darren Golez. I'm an airline pilot for six years based out of Dallas, Fort Worth. And I currently live in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. And in today's video, I want to show you what it's like to commute from San Luis Potosi, Mexico to Dallas, Fort Worth. Bye. Bye. At 12 noon, Melissa drops me off at the airport and I proceed to the American Airlines ticket counter to check in and verify my passport documentations. Once my documentations were verified, the agent issues me a standby ticket and I proceed to go up the escalator to the second floor and check in with the immigration. go through security check and proceed to gate 5. After going through security, there is a coffee shop and several stores where you can shop to buy souvenirs from San Luis Potosí. In this particular shop, you will find nice handmade purses, ceramic skulls and pottery, and various souvenirs of San Luis Potosí. You will also find beautiful colorful ceramic jewelry boxes, coffee mugs, and silver skulls. In the middle, you will see a female skeleton dressed only in a hat. She is called La Catrina, which is an icon of the Mexican Dia de Muertos, or Day of the Dead. Here is another view of the coffee shop after you exit the security checkpoint. I use the American Airline application on my Galaxy Note 9 to verify the arrival time of the inbound flight which is flight 5774 originating from Dallas Fort Worth. After I got my seat assignment I proceeded down the escalator to walk over to the CRJ 900 aircraft. As I met the aircraft there was an Aeromexico E190 jet taking off from runway 14. I introduced myself to the flight crew and they were very happy to have me on board. Well I got my seat in first class on flight 5781. The flight time from San Luis Potosi to Dallas Fort Worth is 1 hour 48 minutes. 21 people on board. I commute often and it gets pretty boring. What I do to pass the time is either play a game called Bricks Breaker Quest or watch a Netflix show that I have downloaded on my Note 9. When we arrive at the international gates at B3, Passengers are not able to deplane until all the valet carry-on bags are loaded inside the jet bridge. Now for the long walk to the U.S. Customs and Immigration. It's nice to have a moving sidewalk to expedite the walk. I exit the Skylink at the B terminals and proceed downstairs to catch the hotel van
To summarize my commute today, I got to the airport approximately 12 o'clock and um, after we took off it was about an hour and 48 minutes flight time and then once I got to Dallas Fort Worth I had to get something to eat and then called the hotel van. It's a good thing I only waited maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Normally hotel vans will pick you up like 30 to 45 minutes later and maybe longer. It's been some times where I had to wait for about an hour just for a hotel van. But I got to the hotel approximately 5.10, so I would call it maybe a five hour commute. I start work tomorrow morning around seven o'clock, so that gives me a, a lot of time to go rest. So that's one of the reasons why I have to commute is because there is no red eye flight from San Luis Potosí to Dallas Fort Worth. And plus, if you have to commute and then you get to fly a three leg day or four leg day and by the time you at the end of the day you get really really tired so it's my option here to commute a day early and to buy my hotel room so to help me improve my first vlog if you leave your comments down below let me know what I need to do to improve maybe editing skills there's a lot to learn with vlogging thank you for watching have a great day YouTube see ya